don't have intro music at the moment. He doesn't have intro music at the moment. Doesn't have intro music. Hey guys, welcome to my Status Warhammer or VLS from scratch video uh, series. So what I've decided to do, and this put a lot, I put a lot of thought into whether I should do this or not, and um, I've agreed to myself I'm going to be starting off this series with 100k because making 100k is pretty frank simple. Uh, it's just really boring to watch is all. So I figured I would just start off the series with 100k. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys. I just didn't want to pick flax and all that kind of thing. You're still gonna have to see me progress, uh, but I figured just start off with 100k because everyone can make around that much uh, money themselves. So let's go ahead and start off. Um, so this is a clean 100k. Now we're not gonna be using anything from my bank. I'm not gonna clear out my bank or anything like that. Uh, we're just gonna make a completely new tab for everything that we're gonna be doing. Um, a good place to start off is with rune gloves. Uh, I'm not gonna get barrows, obviously. That's that's bank. Let's get two of them. Okay, I'll wear one pair, and we have we have one. Let's just I, I, I'll keep track of that. Okay, so we've got that. Um, hmm, what should we do next? Okay, I've got I've got, I've got a decent idea. Okay, let's head over to Edgeville. Uh, we're gonna go over to the GE. Um, in this guy, in this series, uh, in this series, I'm gonna be using the GE because even you, as a person, could um, use the GE. Uh, this isn't necessarily trying to be a challenge. I just thought it'd be more fun to start off from scratch and see uh, how much how much money I can earn at revs uh, from scratch, getting this all you know here. So yes, I am gonna be going to revs. Um, I just figured uh, it'd be a lot more fun to do it just from absolutely nothing because that means even you guys um, even if you're dirt poor or just got hacked um, let's just exclude the fact that let's pretend like I picked flax for like an hour and made a hundred K excluding that that's something you can do if you want um, excluding that this is something just about anyone who's got these stats for it can do alright so decent idea over here uh, rune crossbow rune, rune crossbow Come on, run, run, cross. There you are. Spy you for a little bit. All right. Um. Hmm. Broad. Broad. No. Black. Black. Yeah. Let's go with black. Uh. Black dehyde body and chaps. Is it worth it? That's just what I'm thinking. Is it worth it? Um. Black. D. Black D. Black dragon hide set. Okay. Whatever. Let's just buy the set. It saves me time. I'm just that lazy. I'll just... Oh, God, really? Fine. Fine. I'll pause in a second. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I epically failed by pausing where I meant to record and recording where I meant to pause, so I just decided to speed up this part that has no commentary. Um, I wasted just about all of my 100k. I got about 10k left on uh, things. I bought 5 Terrorbird pouches, uh, 400 sweet corn. so let's just unlock my sweet corn th for from now on throughout the rest of the series. Um... A couple of potions, some gear, and made a few um, super anti fires. If you can't, ah, nah, screw it. And now onto live commentary. Okay, so sorry about that little fail. It's now live commentary again. Okay, so if you haven't figured out where I'm going, uh, it's a little bit obvious, but if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm going over to Frost Dragons. Uh, Frost Dragons are pretty, pretty good money per hour. I have to say, it's around what two mil, and it's the only good money per hour. Uh, making that I can possibly think of. The only requirements to get here are 85 Dungeoneering, which, yeah, is a bit of a hefty requirement, but, you know, it's definitely going to help me out a lot during this uh, series. It's going to give me a little bit of starter cash, and um, just proving here you can make a pretty decent trip with only around 100k uh, worth of gear, so I'll be right back when I get there. Okay, so I'm here, and I just got hit with an awesome idea. Let's go from a money-making from scratch thing uh, from like a from scratch series into kind of a bit of a game. I just had a really decent idea where what I can do is I can save up with certain amounts of money and see if I can just buy, slowly uh, buy parts of my bank back. Um, so let's say, um, let's say I want my chaotic longsword back. I can buy that back for one mil. Um, I want my void back. I can buy my void back for one mil. Uh, let's just say we can do that. That sounds like a lot more fun, more interesting for you guys to watch, and I don't have to spend, 
uh, that much money. And um, overall, I'm really not losing things because I'm buying things for myself. Uh, but this way, I'm not losing anything when it comes to the series. Uh, uh, meh. I'm losing money from the series, but it's all overall going back to my bank anyways. Um, so yeah, I think that would be like a, a pretty fun idea of me having to um, unlock things that I earn so I can slowly start using my bank over. Um, so like as of the moment, I, I, I don't have any enough money to buy anything back from, my, from myself, like my bank. But like let's say... Uh, one million dollars for me to um, permanently be able to use any amount of food I ever put into my bank and like 600k for me to permanently use any potions I put in my bank um, ETC I think that'll be really interesting for this series uh, so I figure yeah that sounds like a good idea it's gonna make it a little bit more interesting we can keep track of the amount of money that I um, I make throughout this entire series I just realized auto retaliate was on and I could have easily died and boom, first kill that did not take me a lot of sweet corn. Ooh, rune longsword, yay! Uh, oh god, I should have bought an Abbas accumulator. That would have helped out a lot. Uh, Alright, I'm going to do a couple more kills and see how this works. And just got another kill. Ah, oh, he didn't pick up his bones. I was just about to... Okay, I'm so done here. Okay, so after one trip of frost, let's go see what we just made. Okay, so I put a couple of things in there. Let's just grab this all. And current money pouch is this much. Putting in the rest just to see what awesome... So far, I've already made, like, what? Double my bank, which is impressive. Alright, so once we've sold everything, we're at a good 255k. Uh, from the sweet corn that I purchased... I purchased around... Yeah, exactly. 400 of them. Let's just say I permanently unlocked my sweet corn pile, considering sweet corn is not expensive at all. It's around 20 GP each to 30 GP, I believe. So let's just... I, I've unlocked that for this series. Okay. Got a total of five doses of super anti-fire. Oh, I know what I want to do next. I know what I'm going to do next. Alright guys, I just bought a Dragon Dagger. What do you say I throw away 100k? Uh, actually, what do you say I throw away 200k and... Well, okay, what do you guys say that I throw away 200k and let's just say that I have unlimited Broad Bolts. Are we good? Let's work it. Okay, so we just bought unlimited Broad Bolts. That's nice. For, for the rest of the entire series, I have Broad Bolts. Alright, so we're at the Dominion Tower. I had a bit of a good idea. Uh, gonna see if I can get myself Dreadnips. Dreadnips will definitely help out myself during the series quite a lot, so I'll be right back. One of the, oh god, of course I get one of the hardest bosses. Bring it! And he's going, he's going in with the DDS. Uh, okay, good spec there, come on. Okay, we're specking good, we're specking good, we're specking good, come on. Whew, getting these Rambos in there, and, uh, why am I praying range, why am I praying range? Uh, okay, okay, we got this guy, we've got him done. Alright, that is one out of five. Come on, hit him one more time. Alright, one out of five bosses done. To my friends in New York, I say hello. My friends in LA, they don't know where we've been for the past few years or so. Paris to China, I gotta ride or some. Okay, so the same fail happened where I was accidentally recording the things I didn't want to record, so now I have to cut that clip out because I was listening to music, so this is definitely a another kill. That is mine. Okay, I just defeated that dog. Err, Dagonoff mother, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and run away. When I got one of the easiest bosses in all of Dominion Town. Probably the easiest boss. Yeah, uh, one hit. That's uh, good. Uh, good fight. And we have a final kill. Any second now? Any second? Oh, really? Really? Fine. I will, I will range you. I came prepared for things like this. Alright, so that is our fifth kill. Cool. So after five boss kills, I now have 100 Dreadnips. Woot! 
And uh, we are definitely running close to out of time here, so I'm kind of scared of what else can I do. Alright, let's do a, uh, a total price check of everything so far that we have. We have earned around 200k in around 10 minutes. Uh, well, 10 minutes of recording time anyways. Uh, so that's good, I guess. Uh, since we now have 200k. I'm sorry that this was a boring episode. I will try to just speed up the money-making process in the next episode, kind of like how I did with the uh, Frost Dragon trip. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please stay updated on this. This is going to be a really fun series. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. Rate, comment, subscribe if you like this series. And if you have any ideas of things I can do to increase or improve it. Thanks for watching. I love you. Have an awesome day. Bye.